Thank you. Thank you. So, I mean, we at Stackpole have come from humble beginnings. We had a small factory just outside Toronto making powder metal parts. But with unwavering commitment to manufacturing in Canada and Ontario specifically, we're now a $900 million company. We've achieved this growth through innovative world-class fluid power solutions in the form of engine and transmission oil pumps, as well as complex state-of-the-art metal powder metal automotive components. We manufacture our products in five facilities across Ontario, lo located in Ancaster, Mississauga, and Stratford. Vehicle powertrain design has entered an exciting phase with the introduction of increasingly efficient designs and electrification of vehicles. Stackpole's world-class engineering, quality, and manufacturing capabilities position us well to take advantage of the opportunities presented by the world of e-mobility with our innovative mechatronic, fluid power, and powder metal solutions. Everyone's well aware of the headwinds that Canadian automotive, automotive manufacturers face. So we greatly appreciate the Ontario government's recognition of these challenges, and we thank the government for providing a tailwind to propel us into another 50 years of business growth and world-class job opp opportunities in Ontario. Well, thank you very much. Uh, you know, somebody uh, once said that there are, uh, um, first of all, good morning, everybody. I better go to my notes here. Good to, good to be here. You know, you talk about uh, the winds. Uh, you know, there are, there are uh, I suppose, two kinds of folk in the world. There are the wind testers, put their fingers up in the air and they see which way the wind is blowing and, and then they go there, right? Or, wind testers or they're the wind changers, right? People aren't afraid to, uh, to move in an innovative entrepreneurial direction uh, even when things maybe look a little tough in terms of those headwinds, right? And um, that's what you're doing. So I'm, I'm, uh, I'm off script here, but I, that's, I want to just say that at the, uh, at the outset. So uh, thanks very much for uh, inviting us here. It's uh, great to see this uh, incredible uh, facility and the talented people who work here, you make the world go round here. Stackpole, they're counting on you, right? Right on, right on. Uh, Stackpole was a great Canadian and Ontario success story. The company was founded in 1906, I believe, and today has operations around the world with over 3,400 employees globally, even in Turkey, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. With, uh, but Ontario remains the core, the core is right here in Ontario of your manufacturing and R&D functions with facilities across the province. And you mentioned the three uh, provincial uh, locations. Uh, our government appreciates you keeping good quality, high paying jobs in the province and welcomes this opportunity to work with you, particularly here at my beloved Ancaster, which is great. Uh, disruptive technologies are transforming virtually every sector of our economy, none more so than the auto sector. Anybody who follows the, just read the business pages with all the hullabaloo that's going on, you know, NAFTA and everything else, you know, it's, uh, it's important that we be there, we stand together and that we partner. And partnerships about achieving together the things that we can't achieve apart, right? That's maybe a good description of what we're, what we're talking about today. Anyhow, as North America's top, back to my notes. As North, you want to say something? No. No? Uh, as North America's top vehicle producing jurisdiction, did you all hear that? As North America's top vehicle producing jurisdiction, Ontario can either choose to lead in that disruption or get left behind. Of course, we decided to lead, and so has Stackpole. You have a long and distinguished heritage as a leader in automotive technologies. And by continually looking forward, you see the industry is changing with an ever greater emphasis on fuel economy and the electrification of vehicles. 
won't be long before we won't be driving gas-powered vehicles anymore, I suspect. We'll see. So when Stackpole International decided to invest to pioneer the ge next generation of vehicle technologies, that's something Ontario wanted to be part of. So I'm excited to announce funding, are you ready for this, of up to $24.1 million through our new Jobs and Prosperity Fund. This is where you clap, right? <laughs> This is part of a landmark investment uh, project by Stackpole across its Ontario facilities valued at over $350 million. Ontario's funding will support two innovative projects. First, the establishment of a global center of excellence for megatronic systems development. And you're, when we go to the tour, you're gonna tell me a little bit more about that, right? And, uh, for sure. And uh, also the purchasing of new state-of-the-art equipment for powder metal manufacturing. These investments will help Stackpole grow its customer base and also respond to changes in the auto industry for more energy efficient and alternative fuel vehicles. Most importantly, the project will create 326 new high-value jobs and help to safeguard 1,714 existing positions. That's good news, right? Yep. I want to thank Stackpole for this major vote of confidence in Ontario's automotive sector and also our advanced uh, manufacturing capabilities to ensure our province continues to be competitive, flexible, and responsive. We are introducing the Good Jobs and Growth Plan as announced in our 2018 budget. This plan includes 935 millions of dollars in investments over the next three years and will build on our strong economic foundations, further diversify our economy, support the development of local talent and entrepreneurs, and encourage the growth of businesses. It will improve business competitiveness supporting investments to make Ontario businesses more efficient. We will support key sectors through our newly expanded Jobs and Prosperity Fund, which will invest in food and beverage, <coughs> transformation technologies, forestry, and many other sectors. And we'll support regional economic development with investments in key regions like Eastern, Southwestern, and Northern Ontario. So congratulations again. We look forward to watching, monitoring, and celebrating Stackpole's ongoing success as we move, uh, move forward uh, in revolutionizing the way we uh, produce uh, the goods and services that uh, get delivered to people in Ontario. I'm very, very proud as the MPP. This is the best part of my job for this area to be here to make this announcement. And uh, well done. So, yeah, Ontario's current and future workforce want world-class jobs. Stackpole's business outlook is one for every Canadian to be proud of. Government grants such as this will propel our people towards innovation, invention, continued business growth, and personal prosperity. This investment by Stackpole positions the company to lead in fuel-efficient technologies, while also promoting development of world-class skills in our people. Stackpole and Johnson Electric's leadership are excited uh, and committed to our partnership with the Government of Ontario. We feel this partnership will help set the stage for a very exciting future. We have special guests with us this day. We, we welcome you. Uh, MPP McMeekin. Thank you for, for being here. Also happy to see another colleague in, in government, Joe Veloce, who is the Director of Automotive Manufacturing and Technology with the Ministry of Economic Development and Growth. And members of Stackpole's employee group. On behalf of our CEO, Peter Ballantyne, my colleague, Andrew Dempsey, and the rest of Stackpole's and Johnson Electric's 
executives, and employees, we would like to thank you for joining us today to celebrate this very good news and to mark this occasion with the excitement it deserves. Thank you.